Wars and Rumors of Wars. It is August 2nd, Wars and Rumors of Wars. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's Daily Devotionals with me, Tilla. And again, we are reading from Pastor Doug Bassler's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions, Wars and Rumors of Wars, August 2. What are the wars and rumors of wars spoken of by Christ? You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Matthew 24 and verse 6. One of the signs of Jesus' uh, second coming is that there would be major wars. There certainly have been wars and rumors of wars in the past few years. The news stories seem to grow each day, and in the previous century, century alone, hundreds of wars cost more lives than in all of the other previous centuries uh, wars con- combined. These are certainly signs of the nearness of Christ's coming, but the Bible also talks about wars that are not between nations. I once uh, punched the word war into my Bible computer, a pro- uh, Bible computer program, I'm guessing that's, that would be eSword, um, while researching for a broadcast, I was amazed to find the word more than uh, the word more than two hundred times, not including the plural form. I believe the battles mentioned in Scripture are also an object lesson to teach, or to teach us how to overcome our own internal wars. The Bible is loaded with this terminology. We're we're all fighting a good the good fight of faith. As the Apostle Paul says in 1 Timothy 6 and verse 12. In 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3, he adds, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles themselves in the affairs of this life, that he might please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Furthermore, 2 Corinthians 10 verses uh, verses 3 and 4 states, For through or for though we walked in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty for pulling down strongholds. Peter adds, Beloved, I beg you as sojourners uh, and pilgrims to abstain from fleshly lusts, that war against the soul. That's in 1 Peter 2 and verse 11. There is the war going on between the spirit and the flesh, between the Lord and the devil. The battleground is our minds and hearts. The war of all wars is struggle over a man's soul between Satan and Jesus Christ. There is a great controversy being played out, and they're not fighting over geographic uh, dirt. They are fighting over the allegiance of intelligent creatures in this world. So the wars and rumors of wars are not only, um, what do you call, physical, literal wars, but it's also spiritual wars that we have in our um, own hearts and our own minds. Spiritual wars. No doubt there, there are wars and rumors of wars out there. United States warring with Iran or Iraq, um, Palestine versus Jerusalem or the Israelites or Israel and so there are definitely um, wars going on but there is also a spiritual spiritual war going on in our minds and in our hearts that is today's daily devotional August 2nd August 2 daily devotional thank you guys again for um, joining me here if you guys were blessed by this daily devotional please like and share, share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your relatives, anybody who you would know would like to, who would be blessed by this daily devotional as well. And of course, guys, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to to subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell if you guys want to be notified every time we upload new videos, and that's daily videos. Um, And if you guys are inspired to support this ministry, you guys can, (laughs) ministry, I said ministry. Uh, If you guys want to support this ministry, you guys can do so by praying for this online video ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv. And we will take the donations and we will use it to 
make more Bible study videos and also to advertise these videos so that we can reach more people um, with you guys. So thank you guys for coming through. Thank you guys for joining us today. Praise God always. And I'll see you guys at the Discord. The link is in the description. I will ask your guys' answers or I mean, I will answer your guys' uh, questions there. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys there. Continue the conversation on the Discord.